So, if you're watching this video, I think that you've got a Windows 10 update and after that your audio is not available, not responding or no sound at all. Yes, I have been in the same situation and that's the reason why this video will probably help you to fix the problem. Well, my name is Anna Fan and welcome back to Take Chablis. So, without further ado, let's dive in. 5 possible ways to fix audio is not responding in Windows 10. Number 1. Restart Windows Audio Service Windows 10's audio service is a setting where you can turn on the engine for your audio to start working. There are possible reasons why after the update you've experienced audio is not responding. The possible answer to your questions might be your Windows audio service is not switched on. So there you go. Go to search and type in computer management. Choose computer management. Now click on services and applications. Go into services and on the list, scroll down and double click on Windows Audio. Click start to turn it on. Make sure the startup type is automatic. Now make sure the Windows Audio endpoint also on start and of the automatic startup type. See if your computer has a sound now. You can open a video or audio to test it out. Number 2. Check on sound control settings and playback default. After the update, perhaps you forget to reset some of the audio playback devices. Therefore, your audio service might get confused. Now, let's check if your playback default are good to go. Right click on audio icon and choose open sound settings. Next, look to the right and click on sound control panel. Right click on the device that you want to set as a default and choose it. You can also test the system sounds if it works for now. Number 3. Update, uninstall or reinstall audio driver. One of the possible reasons for audio is not responding in Windows 10 is incompatibility between your newest version of Windows 10 and your might be outdated audio driver. Therefore, checking out for the latest driver update might work. To update your audio driver, just go to search and type it in device manager. Go into device manager, then scroll down and choose sound video games controller. Right click on both of the devices here and update them. In case that you might find the update does not work, then choose to uninstall these audio drivers. They can be reinstalled automatically when you restart your Windows 10. You can use the best audio driver for your specific device. For example, my laptop is Dell Inspiron and 5520. Then I can search for that audio driver on an official Dell website. It's always recommended to use the best compatible audio driver for your own device model. Number 4. Uninstall the current Windows update or recover the previous version of Windows 10. Well, you might think about recovering the previous version of your operating system because you saw it work so well before. Depends on how your Windows 10 is updated. You can still uninstall the current updates by doing this. Go to search and type it in control panel. Open the control panel and click on uninstall a program. Now, look to the top left corner and choose uninstall updates. Find your newest Windows 10 updates and uninstall it. Notice that this will make your operating system go back to the previous latest version you was on. Let's say if the file you're trying to uninstall is version 28.2, then you will be back to Windows 10 version 2004. Another way to get a recovery is to go to settings and choose update and security, then choose recovery tab. On here, choose reset this PC. Note that this reset this PC might only work for those who have just had the latest update for around 10 days. After 10 days, your PC might not be reset and you might consider a fresh or clean reinstall Windows 10, which is mentioned on way number five. Way number five. Fresh or clean reinstall Windows 10s. There are different ways to reinstall Windows 10. If you have tried it with reset this PC and it fails, then this way number 5 you can do it from a media creation tool file. 
This also means that you have to install Windows 10 from a downloaded file and not on your local file. To do this, go to Google and search Windows 10 download. Now click on the first link of media creation tool file for Windows 10 install from Microsoft Office site. The steps for installing is easy guys. Just download this ISO image file to make it a bootable USB device. This step might take a long time. After this, just plug your USB on laptop, then turn it on. Hit the boot option, which is usually F12 for Dell laptops. Then choose to boot from a USB storage device. Now, let the process run and follow steps on your Windows to install it. Notice that if you don't have a production key for Windows 10, just click on I don't have a production key and it will navigate you to the installation options. You can choose to install Windows 10's home from there. And one more thing, you might consider it well before choosing to format the driver for Windows 10 installation. Always choose the driver, mostly C driver, to format. And this is to make sure that you don't format the wrong drivers where your data is saved on. And that's it for today's quick tips video guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you find this helpful, please share it with others. And if you are new here, please consider to subscribe to support me more on this journey. Thanks for watching and bye for now.